Podcast. My name is Ohio Man, and I'm joined by my co-host Dill Wolfhart 14 here on the Cowboy Podcast. Episode. 17. We are on episode 17, and uh, yeah, it's getting. Uh, We're getting up there. Yeah, lengthy We're getting series old. here. We're getting old. I mean, I, 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 art. You know, I mean, what else? Okay, I mean, like, so. I think the first thing we should start with, so we have a one big plan for this episode, but we're going to start with something else, just to, along the same lines. Where it's, I have recently made a large purchase. Mm, yes. Large purchase. I mean, I bought a gun. I am now yes, he did. the proud owner of ugh, a Kamiratoized uh, Smith and Wesson M and P, fifteen, the same firearm that was in the hands of Kyle Rittenhouse on one of the greatest days in American history. That I don't actually remember which day it was, so we're gonna ignore that. Uh, nobody does. That's okay. And uh, I think it was like August twelfth. I'm gonna fact check that. Anyway, I have a Smith and Wesson M P fifteen. It's awesome. I'm gonna go shoot it. Bro. It's gonna be on my Instagram. My trash is falling over right now. And I'm freaking out. There we go. We're good. Saved it. So, uh, and what day was that? Kyle Rittenhouse. August 25th. I knew it was in August. Uh, anyway. So I bought that recently. I'm really happy about it. Uh, <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't have gotten an M&P Sport, but uh, you do you, I guess. Uh, well, uh, so here's the story. For <clears throat> for reference, so I was um, I looked, I found an area hat on their website, um, and there was a lo a local dealer for that listed. On the the for that hat, the the web yeah yeah was a place called Big R something or Big R store in Evergreen Big Colorado. Iron on his Big yep. Iron on his dick. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so I went okay. I'll go there because it says that since they're listed on the the website for that hat, they should in theory have it. They didn't. So I ended up buying George Strait Wranglers instead. There you go. But I made one little uh, search through the through the store, and I came across across the good section, and I spotted a Smith and Wesson M and P fifteen for seven hundred and seventy eight bucks. My immediate response was, go. "I can afford that." Yeah. So approximately three days later. Actually, it was two days later. I became the owner of it. Nice. Before Ohio has bought one gun, I have three. Well, I, mean, I I still have more. Do you? How many? How many are yours? Not in the household. How many are yours? Uh, two. <clears throat> Not that mm. I bought, but they're mine. Hmm. So I've bought two. And I was gifted one, so I have three. So I don't know what you're going on about. And in the household, there are four total. So, cool. No, um. Yeah, I mean, I have uh, I have two that are. I think one. I don't know. I think mine. Hopefully That's kind I'm of important to. Yeah, t tell us about that. What are you looking for? What are you hoping to find? Uh, Where are you going? Whatever I can afford. Maybe. That's fair. What's your price point? Nothing over a thousand. No thousand. So how much? So just a thousand's the hard cutoff. Most I can spend is maybe a thousand two hundred. That's my hard cutoff. Okay. Twelve hundred so, is my uh, hard. Hard. Uh, anything above that is a hard no. Fully reluctant, no. Mm -hmm. So, uh, 
What are, what are you what are you hoping to find? What, what I'm are, hoping what are, to find some kind of 15. That shouldn't be too hard. You got Rugers, some of the I don't think I cut these brakes in. Um, you got. There's actually a lot of options. Uh, you can find some PSAs. Um, for under 1200, you can, I believe, as well. you can find. 1200 is a great price point for when you're looking for AR-15s. If I can find an AR-10 cheap enough, then yeah. If you can find an AR-10. I'll 100% pull the trigger on that. <laughs> no pun intended. Oh, trust me, the pun was intended. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm, I'm excited too. I don't really know. <laughs> it's kind of a surprise, but I know what I'm looking for. Like, I'm looking for an AR-10 or an AR-15. Hopefully an AR-10. If I can. <laughs> I mean, few, depends. but not nearly as many as I've seen AR 15s. And I, I don't really know what the price point is for those. Yeah. Would you be happy know. if you ended up with. A SIG tread? Yes, sir. Well, yeah. Very fine for less than that as well, but that's not what I was thinking. I could very easily. At like a fitter. Probably. I don't know. I never looked at their guns. Somehow. That's well, I really did, funny. but I, I looked quickly. I, I don't go. There. Store, but I figured I'd peek. They had like it was mostly just you know bolt actions and a handful of shotguns, mostly from Bird of. It's mostly running store. But they had a, a Ruger A of six and a, a Smith and Wesson. So I, I got the Smith and Wesson. Are uh, the Ruger five five six those full Picatinny? What's the deal with those? Or is it the stupid handguards that I don't like? Uh, you can get them that look almost identical. Like the handguards that you have. But... I don't like that. It's a lot better than Magpul. I don't yeah, like I don't the like Magpul those. Stocks. Or, sorry, uh... So yeah, generally your AR-556 is going to be basically identical to what I got. Uh, but you can get one free float, actually. You can get one, they call it the MPR. Which is also available mm. in 350 Legend, apparently. But that's, uh, 1089. That's a lot more expensive. Yeah, interesting. But yeah, the standard a AR-556, like the gun that I got, that's a 989, but the street price can be a lot less. Wow. Yeah, I... I'm looking more for a... full pay Teddy. That's... I don't think you'll find one, to be honest. I don't think you will. It's all gonna be Magpul, M-Lock, or... Or like mine, the A2 style. Yeah, I, am I don't like yours. You're not gonna find. I like. I uh, honestly though, I'll buy it if I can. But behind, um, behind Quad Picatinny, it's my second favorite. I just, I do not like Magpul. I do not like, uh, M or Kers. But I don't like Magpul, I don't like M-Lock, and I don't like key mods, so that really only leaves standard, you know, M4 style, standard M16A2 style, or Quad Picatinny, which you don't really find in stores very often. You can find it sometimes, yeah. but it's usually going to be, uh, like, my dad got a Smith Wesson MP15 with Quad Picatinny, but it also came with a bipod and an optic and a, might have come with a laser. It's come with a bunch of shit, which means it's going to be over a grand, or close to a grand. So, but that's also not a guarantee that you'll find it, because it doesn't factor. They put deal. But, uh, it's, it's kind of funny that my, well, actually, to be fair, my taste is, you know, M16 style, which I've only ever seen in a store once, but, oh well. Yeah, no, my best more. bet, here's my best bet. This is what I'd recommend to you. Buy just whatever AR you can get your hands on, whatever works, and then later buy a new upper that fits the style you're looking for. Or buy a new handguard, quad. Quad Picatinny handguards aren't really that expensive, especially carbine length. Yeah. So, like, I'm probably going to do that. I'm probably going to buy a new handguard for my gun. I'll probably
I might get a new... Oh, I'm gonna get a Magpul Grip, because I do like those uh, more than the mil spec, but everything else I prefer mil spec for the most part. And I'm gonna buy yeah. a carry as well. Even if the Airsoft one works, then I might just leave that, because there's no real reason to replace <laughs> yeah. it. So, that's what I'd recommend personally, is just, you know, get your, get whatever your AR-10 or AR-15 you can, and then improve it as time goes. One of the great things about AR is that it's so modular, and that you could, there's them for improvement from its stock form. You don't have, you don't have to look for exactly what you want immediately, you know. Because for me, I just wanted an AR-15. I'd get it as long as I like the look of it standard, then I'd do that, and then I can improve it as time goes on, and I actually have the money to do so. So, that's just my take on it. Uh, in the future, though, I want to get a couple other things. I'm going to look for a lever action, a, a bolt action, preferably, well, pretty much exclusively a Remington 700. Um, still want some handguns. Um, yeah, but we'll get to those later. Yeah. So... Well, I mean, while we're talking guns here, we might as well talk about what each of our favorite gun is in different manufacturers. We've covered this in a previous episode, of but we'd like to carry it on into this uh, video. And so now uh, Dale's got it pulled up right here, and I guess I got it. Yep. Uh, we're gonna look at all the uh, all the guns. So we're gonna look and at as which, many manufacturers. Which each of our favorite, each of each of our favorite gun from each manufacturer. Yes, so to, to word it a little bit better, we're going to go on each manufacturer's website um, that we can think of, and we're going to select our favorite that they manufacture. Uh, out of anything at all, handgun, rifle, shotgun, doesn't matter. Um, I personally prefer to try and diversify it a little bit, so if I've chosen, so like for example, stuff like 1911s, high powers, stuff that multiple brands make, I try and kind of single out, like, uh, if I wanted to pick an AR for one brand, then I would try picking that for other brands and try picking something that is unique to that brand instead of something that every brand has and they just have a version of, is kind of what I'm getting at. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it will just pick, um, the same, technically the same thing twice. So, we're going to go in alphabetical order out of my bookmark, so we're going to start with Armalite. I guess the original manufacturer of the, the AR-15 AR and the AR-10. The AR-10 is where I'm gonna start it off with, cause that's really what I'm trying to get right now, and that's kind of what I want. Mm -hmm. So, Armalites are, are pretty hard to come across. To be honest, I don't think I ever really seen. Yeah, them. original. Yeah, that's right. Original Armalite. I mean, I've never really. I don't think I've ever seen an Armalite. I don't see person. it much. Yeah. So, I mean, in terms of armor light, AR-10, obviously for me. And you're probably going to pick AR-15, I guess. Technically, it's the M-15, since the AR-15 is actually a cult trademark. So mm. they can't actually use it. To be honest, I'm not horribly interested in what armor light has to offer. Um, their yeah, AR-15s are kind of generic. Um, I guess all AR-15s are kind of generic, but... They're also not exactly, like, affordable, so they don't have that draw. Really, the only draw to it is just, oh, it's an Armalite. Their Air 10s are really expensive. They're, like, two grand. And their Air 15s are a whole lot cheaper. Yeah. So, I don't know, I'm probably just thinking, like, the AR-10, AR, uh, the M15, uh, what was it called? M15 16 inch, I think it was, yeah, defensive sporting rifle. That's what I'm gonna go with, because to be honest, there's really not a whole lot else on offer. Yeah, no, they don't really have all that much that I can think of. Defensive sporting rifle, I am writing all these down. I am not. Alright, well that's fine. The alphabetical list is Benelli. 
Benelli. All right, let me look at Benelli's all the stuff I know previously. I said the M. The M4. No, M4, but that's really all I know. Yeah, I mean, Benelli has some decent things. Of course, known for their M4 series. I personally, my favorite is the M1014, which is, you know, it's military one. The M3 is neat, the M2 is Benelli, neat. dominate the skies. Shotguns, rifles. What do they got? Buy a model. Lupo, bolt action, R1, big game. That sounds interesting. Wow, that does not look good. Okay. <laughs> Ugh, Lupo bolts. Ugly. Yeah, I don't know. Shotguns, what do you got? Buy a model. Yeah, the wow. shotgun's definitely where it's at. Okay, I'm just gonna go classic M4... or M1014. Yeah, the M1014. It M1014. is expensive, but it's minty. Hey, we said favorite. We didn't say... anything else like that. So we both kind of agree with the M1014. It's, I mean, it's a classic. Yeah, M1014, yeah. It is... M2s, what do we got? Ooh, to M2 be honest, looking nice. I might say that, that... I actually like the M2s. Yeah, the M2, I think, is their flagship pump action. M2 oh, performance. Oh, no, I that's like a semi-auto. That. That's their semi-auto. I think the M3... I I think the M3 is kind of like this bus 12, where it does both. M3 tactical, no, not at all. And, uh, right? I'm pretty sure. I'm gonna go with the M2. Both. M2s. Alright, yeah, that's, that seems to be kind of their basic, like... What's the word Standard, I'm looking like, for? That's like a Remington 1100 kind of thing. Yeah, I really it's like a, a, your, your typical hunting semi-auto. There's the M1014's a defensive semi-auto, kind of like the, the Beretta. Whatever it was, which we'll get to later, I guess. Yeah, I mean, I like the Benelli M1014. It's it's a classic. It's probably, in my opinion, it's probably the semi-automatic shotgun. I mean, there's a lot of competition, but I'd say when oh, it comes, I don't know. I don't think any of them are more universally recognized. Because like there aren't companies. there aren't really any other. Uh, semi-automatic shotguns that have quite as much of a foothold in common knowledge. People know the M1014. Uh, People don't really know the 1100. Because guess what? The 1100 isn't yeah, in a Call of Duty. Neither is the M2. No. Wait, what are you talking about? The M1014 Oh, the M4. Though. Oh, yeah, 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 obviously. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. Is that like everyone yeah. knows that the semi-automatic because it's a it's yeah, a combat it's shotgun. shotgun yeah. Yeah. And the Remington 870, I'd say it's probably well, maybe other than this Boss 12, it's probably the shotgun. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So, quality definitely expensive though. Oh yeah, 100 percent. Next, we move... But you get what you're paying for. You get what you pay for. It is their quality. My dad wants a Beretta. Or, sorry, a Benelli. Well, Carly everyone wants, wants a Beretta, Beretta which too, I believe is what's on next. That is what we are Listen, going I to I believe next. I'm going to stick with what I said earlier, and I'm going to go with the uh, M9A3. Uh, the M9A3 is very nice. I do, I'm, I'm a big sucker for Flat Dark Earth. Yes. And I think the... Yes. Uh, Yes. That one probably takes the cake. The carbines and rifles really aren't anything special to me. I don't really yeah, care. Really I mean, not. their shotguns are interesting, but I'm not a big, like, double barrel guy, so it just doesn't really intrigue me. You know, they have an M9A4 now. Really? Yeah. They're all the way nice. up to the M9A4. I'm not sure what the difference is between that and the regular Well, they haven't it. really gotten to Glock status. No! Oh, they're in no. what, Gen 5's now? Yeah, they're on Gen 5. In terms of, like, well-knownness, though, I'd say because of the fact that they held that the title as the U.S. Army's, the U.S. Military's primary sidearm since, you know, the 80s, it does have a lot of importance in that regard. You know what I mean? And yeah. it, I feel like a lot of people know it because of that. Which is good. That's what you Which want. Which is a good reason to know yeah. it for. Because the Beretta is also a really sexy looking handgun. It is probably my second favorite. 
second or third favorite handgun overall. Well, that's strong, but it's it is it makes sense. But it's it's a very slick looking handgun. It's a metal frame, nine millimeter, which is my favorite genre of handgun. <laughs> uh, although my favorite handgun is not a metal. Frame. Oh, metal frame, hammer fired. Uh, nine mil is is my favorite category, but there's just something so sleek about it, and maybe that's just the fact that I inherently like everything that's served in the in the military. It's not a requirement, but it's a it's a noticeable trend that there's a whole lot that I like that hasn't been in the military service. I just feel like I should point that out. Because, like, when I look at it, it's like, oh, they have not served the military. That means I like it. I... The military yeah. knows what looks good, man. They know what looks good. They know no, the they don't know what looks good. They know what works good. And usually that tends to be kind of one of the... Mm, See, I'd probably go with the uh, either the M9... That's just what they put in the video games, and that's just what you think looks good. Well, I know a lot more than what's only in video games. I mean... Yeah, but you seem to only like the video games. You like the military style. You like the military style of things. Mm, which a lot of. Which games I'm not gonna lie. I do. mean, I do too. I mean, the, we're gonna be coming up, not too soon, but I mean, we'll we're get to that up eventually. On we'll get to again. That's my favorite gun, and that's a military style. Mm. So I can't really talk too much. I mean, even my second favorite gun is a military gun that almost no one has. Uh oh. So. Yeah, I mean the M ninety three is up there to be honest with the M ninety one. Or the ninety two. No one, G no one has this gun. So, so many people nice. don't have this gun. Is it's not even going to be a manufacturer that we cover. In fact, I don't even know what manufacturer it is. What are you talking about? My second favorite gun, the VSS Ventura's. Oh yeah, that doesn't actually have. Well, let me, let me. Mm, it's we will not Russian be covering. Thing, sure. Yeah, that's one of the unfortunate things about a lot of military arms is that they don't tend. They're not really manufactured by anyone in particular. Especially foreign ones. Well, no, foreign ones, because American ones are because uh, we have the contracts and stuff. Only, I mean, so, like the M1, only since they stopped using like muskets and stuff, you know. Well, I mean, the M1 Garand was made by a bunch of people. The 1903 Springfield, Springfield. was made by Apple. <laughs> Remington made them. Also, I think Winchester might have made them. Well, everyone made them, but they were Springfield. You know, Springfield Armory. You know what I mean? Like the mo like you know, the Springfield Armory didn't exist. I mean, there's two different Springfield Armories. You know that, right? Uh, there's two different ones. I there's... don't care. I don't feel like getting a history lesson right now. That's fair. Because I don't know what we're talking about. Anyway, the manufacturer of the VSS Ventura is, is Tula Arms Plant. So yeah, it's just one of those things that is well, just yeah. made. It's it's probably it's a, not no, it's made a, by a manufacturer. It's, it's a, just arm, it's probably a manufacturer. We just never heard of it. It's in Russia. Well, yeah, but it's it literally says Tula Arms Plant. It's just made in a or in a plant for reasons. Whatever. Anyway. That's enough of Beretta. It's slowly gonna lose that spot as my second favorite gun, though. Maybe. I don't. Maybe more I don't likely like the than Ventura's, I think. but I don't know. It's a cool thing. It's like more of more. just a cool gun. Not really earning my spot as a favorite. An AR-10 will most likely take its place. Mm, that's fair. Yeah, I feel like because you don't really know a whole lot of AR-10s. It's your favorite gun, but like when it comes to I'm like learning. a specific well, AR-10, no, you don't really have one gun. in mind. What's well, one of your favorites? Yeah. But you don't really have a it. specific one in mind. Yeah, I gotta do some more research. Even though I've been researching a shit ton. <laughs> um, For the past how many months? A long time. And I just keep going back to Diamondback and Palmetto State. I mean, Palmetto State's a great place to start. <laughs> and we'll Diamondback is sold out and way more expensive. That's fair. Black Aces Tactical. This is the first brand of, of shotgun ammunition I ever bought from, but they also make f uh, regular firearms. Specifically, the Black Aces Tactical. The Pro L, which is a lever action 12 gauge. Something that's pretty hard to come across, and this one's only 400 bucks. Shotguns, levers, pumps, which semi autos. Love. Semi autos, what do you got? Give me some. 
Some so, yellow shoddies. I will probably end okay. up getting a Pro L eventually. Bopa. Wow, that. Oh my god, that's cheap. Yeah, they they make very affordable firearms. Is it guns? Uh, I think so, yeah. Damn. Shotguns, check them out. Oh, that looks bad, that looks bad. That looks not too bad. Pro S Max. Pro M Pump. Pro L Lever. That's my favorite. That looks pretty nifty. You can yeah, also, you can, it starts with a I like the Pro M Semi-Auto. But you can also, you can also get them in like different uh, finishes I pick the Pro M Semi-Auto. The Pro M Semi-Auto, let me take a look-see. Ah, the magazine fed. Does that one only come in one color? Oh, you can get that with wood too. Ooh. Ooh. Yep, 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 yep. Big fan of wood. Yeah, that's pretty nice. I, I don't really like uh, magazine fed shotguns that much. Box magazine fed, I should say. You know me, I'm a sucker for lever action. So, of course, that Pro L with uh, black finish and wood stock is, of course, the best. But that's, a, that's not a bad choice. Pro. Pro M. That's what you said. Pro M, yep. Pro M. Sweet! a lot of like affordable cool affordable jackets. I like Browning. Now that's a cool one. Uh, I think I said this before. I'm gonna go with the Browning Axe Bolt. Ah yes. It's a really nice overall looking gun. Let me take a look at that. So I believe that's a uh, it's a bolt action of course because it's in the name maybe. Yep. X bolt. Let's take a look at what we've got here. Which one? Which one in particular? Single one out. I'm not looking at it. Whatever synthetic and camo. I don't know. Most like of the them. Multi cam, I think. The multi cam with the tan receiver. Multi cam tan. There are multiple. Yes. The X bolt. I don't know any of them. Just click on X bolt and then just scroll through, man. Oh, good lord. I like the X bolt white gold Browning. medallion. Wait, why weren't you? You weren't even on the website, dumbass. No, I wasn't, cause I knew what I was gonna pick for this one. Yeah, but I'm making you be. There's You're a lot of variants. Shit. Yes, I am. That's the point. X bolt. They have one with a McMillan stock. In terms of the X bolts, oh, they don't show pictures. What the hell? Just go to Browning and go to the X bolt. That's what I did. Oh, they do show pictures, so I'm not sure what you're talking about. I'm on their website. I also right told now. you to be I'm on not your my computer, computer, but I'm on my phone. My computer's upstairs. Hell, it is 5:04 in the morning. <laughs> I'm not going up That's true. The x bolt white gold medallion is pretty cool, though. I like that good old wood stock. Again, whatever is synthetic and tan, it, they're all the same. x bolt That's my favorite. We have tan barrel. Oh, my God. The color does not matter. You literally said tan. Good God. You literally said yeah, tan. Yeah, that's just like, that's a color I saw... Uh, that's the color I thought of on the top of my head because that's what I last saw on the Cabela's website. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. That's what I last saw when I went to Cabela's. That's really funny. And it was like two thousand freaking dollars. Yeah, because it's a Browning. Yeah, but you're paying again. You're paying for that. Hopefully, like, I don't actually know. Quality ass bolt guns. Maybe. Don't say maybe they are. Well, you know what Every I said earlier. Say... Browning to me is more of a clothing brand than a firearm manufacturer because I've never Which seen. I've never heard talk about their Browning, but I've seen plenty of people with a Browning hoodie, including myself. I know 
a bunch of people that wear their clothing, but I know more people that buy their guns. I don't. I don't know anyone. Well, maybe it's an Ohio thing. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> maybe Ohioans just don't have money for anything other than brownings. Yeah, no. no I'm a money. particular There's fan no of money. that BLR, which is a box magazine fed bolt a or lever action. <laughs> it's pretty cool. That's interesting. It is. Yeah, take a look. It's a thousand dollars. Seven hundred. Browning. The Browning BLR. Products. What is it? Rifle? Mm hmm. Rifles, bolts, little levers. Just the pictures. BLR. So it was bolt fed or mag fed? They're all mag fed. Uh, That's how the BLR works. Can you get an extended bag? Probably not. Yeah, it's, uh, it was stupid. Look cool though. So you can get it in. Why can't you just put a tube in it and make it where she can carry it more? Uh, because tube magazines can't hold spitzer rounds. Like 308, 365, <sighs> All right. 243. I, I said stupid. 300 Win Mag. They used to make them, I should point out. So, you know, that's cool. Uh, next on the list Bushmasters. The ACR. Don't ask me what color. Does it come in multiple colors? I literally colors? shoot you. Yes, it does. It comes in black and tan. Now, can you leave me alone? Tan is better. Yeah, also, it is. Why would you? Why would you tell me to leave you alone? That's, that is the point of this video. I I don't think the color of it matters. I think the model does. I don't think the like maybe for certain guns it matters. But we're talking about like what one? Because like there are. Right, fine, 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 fine. ACR. Okay. That. Yep. There you go. Changed nothing. Yes, no, it didn't. It did not. It won't. It won't, to be honest with you. I mean, the ACR is kind of neat. It's got key mod, though, which is gay. Yeah, it did. yeah, okay, well. <sighs> but it isn't 450 Pushmaster, which is nice. <laughs> it is, which is weird, because. That's all it comes yeah. in. Yep. I like is the uh, straight wall? XM15. Yes. That's a straight wall, so that's good for me. Fan of the uh, the M4 patrol. I live in the flat state, so the M4 patrol is my personal favorite. It's just a literally like as mil spec as an M4 carbine gets, other than the fact that it's not a 14 and a half inch barrel. It's a thousand dollars, but you get carry handle, not quad rail, but you get everything else. I like yeah. it. So that's that's what I'm gonna write down. The M4 it patrolman. It looks good. Yeah, I guess. M4 right. patrolman. Kiapa. The rhino. Yes. Tell tell the viewers about the rhino. It's unique in the fact that under. What would you call that? The barrel fires out of the bottom. So what it is. is cylinder. Yeah. So it it the functions is to mitigate recoil. Don't know why. So that's why. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see what they choose. Okay. The runner fires from the bottom of the cylinder rather than the top. This dramatically reduces muzzle rise and recoil felt by lowering the axis of the bore almost to the palm shooter's hand. That's kind of the idea there. That's you can also cool. buy it in gold. There so, you go. Or oil slick. For you Matt characters out there who like gold. Or oil slick if you happen to be gay. Well, there you go, Dale. Yep, there's my. They have, ooh, do they have, wait? Single action army, 1873. They have a single action army. Ooh, for 400 bucks. Well, there he goes. We lost him. Ooh. We lost him to the single action again. Well, no, because you're, you're. That'll not... happen quite quite a few more times.
going to find me voting for anything other than exactly what I'm holding in this Red Dead game right now. The Model 1887. My gun is very dirty. I need to clean it. Uh, the 1887 it was originally a Winchester, but now Kiapa is pretty much the only person that makes an authentic one. It's a lever action twitch that ejects out of the top instead of the side, instead of a side eject. Um, and it's just, it's a looking gun, as you can see in game. I love it. It's one of my favorite guns of all time. It's definitely a M10. Maybe in my top five. Maybe. Yeah. So, I might end up with one of those eventually. I do like a lot of the other things they offer. Well, Kiapa is a very interesting thing. They also offer some cool lever actions too. The Spencer rifle? Whoa. Yeah, I like Kiapa. They're pretty cool. I don't really pay too much attention to them, but I probably should, because they seem to make some very interesting reproduction stuff that all the other companies don't make. Oh, sorry to interrupt your conversation, but y'all are dead. Next on our list, Colt. Colt Manufacturing well, LLC. Colt, uh, 1911. Gonna go with the classic. That is fair. I, I mean, I like the 1911. I think there are other manufacturers that make a better 1911. Maybe not a better one, but one that I like more. Uh, one thing I don't like about Colt is that everyone makes a version of the gun that they make, but much cheaper. Everyone makes a there, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of single action armies, there's a lot of AR fifteens, really yeah. any uh, I mean even Pythons and Anacondas. Which is just generic three fifty seven and forty four Magnum revolver, you know. You can find mm -hmm. all of those somewhere else for cheaper. Colt's kind of that name brand. You're paying to buy a Colt. I do have a Colt. I have a Colt 1851 Navy, but it's actually a Uberti. So. But, uh, honestly, I would go with... It's it's kind of tough. Um, I mean, they are the, the name holders to the AR-15, but to my knowledge, it's not even currently in production. Uh-huh. And also, uh, they haven't really done anything in a while. I like the Colt Python. It's one of my favorite revolvers, but to be honest, I think I'm going to go with the Colt Single Action Army. Well, now I'll go with the Colt Python because at least that's that's something that is unique to them. Mm -hmm. You know, that's 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 probably the, the I mean, if they made most of the firearms. Then oh my like, God, yeah, I forgot about the Python. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm gonna have to switch it. Holy shit! Gone. How did I do that? For those of you who watch The Walking Dead, or know about The Walking Dead, you don't even have to watch it really to know. No, dude, I've, I've, I've held the Python, and it feels like you're holding a million dollars. Yeah, they are very, very nice guns. They are very, very expensive guns. Yes. I should have said. 1400 bucks for a 3-inch. <laughs> very, very expensive. Yeah, actually, yeah. it's 1500 bucks to buy a lot of fucking money. Gun. Yeah, for any, for and yeah, and yeah, for a revolver especially. So that I would say is probably their best, my favorite for them, because it's the only thing that's yeah. really unique to them. It's the only thing that somebody else doesn't really compete with. That's fair. We're gonna take a quick intermission because my throat is very dry and I need to get something to drink. I apologize. Alrighty, well. I hope y'all are enjoying the broadcast so far. Uh, here in a little bit of train two here. I believe Dale's playing Red Dead. We've decided to play different games today. Uh, I seem to focus better while I'm not doing much of anything, and I'm not really doing much of anything right now driving a train, so it uh, seems to be helping. Let me focus with my ADHD at, what time is it? You know, at 5.16 in the morning, you know, casually. Just 
doing a podcast here. A podcast broadcast. A uh, little bit of South Patch grade here. On Train Some World with the uh, Norfolk Southern Whiteface. Uh, AC 400 CW. Uh, and yeah. Uh, I know I said on my channel at least that I'm going to be doing a lot more of Train Sim World, so here you go, I guess. I'll try and complete this route before the, uh, the podcast is over. Um, I've done this route before, though. But I knew it was a good route, that's why I did it. And, okay, uh, hopefully you kept my inter my viewers entertained. Our I viewers kept my entertained. viewers entertained. Cool. I feel like that'd I mean, be easy I to do. I said a little bit of things. Yeah. I mean, are you going to speak? What? <sighs> the next brand on our list <laughs> is the Czech firearms company, CZ. CZ. CZ Scorpion Evo. That is fair. The Scorpion is pretty cool. Just because it's in the games. I don't really know much of Scorpion. I follow them on Instagram. CZUSA. Oh, I do them. too. Um, but, uh... I mean, I don't even look at it. I just follow it because they're a gun manufacturer. <laughs> That's facts right there. Yeah. Just um, like I followed like, a NASCAR teams for no reason. And a few drivers. Not too many drivers. But most Huh. I guess that's a good way to get to know drivers, right? It is. That's why I follow JR Motorsports. That's why you hear me talking a lot of Al Geyer and Mayer and uh, Barry. 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 So, yeah, I mean, the CZ Scorpion's pretty cool. That's another one, uh, one of my friends um, who actually was in episode five of the podcast. For about two minutes. Episode five was the gun podcast. No, that was four. Was, uh, I don't Episode know what five, five was. I think we was fell off. LTS galore. Yes. I don't watch that dark era of the podcast. <laughs> the dark ages. Yeah. But uh, CZ for me is mostly their handguns. CZ for me is mostly just the, scorp the Scorpion alone. <laughs> it's all I know. I mean, I really don't. Apart from what I know, once I know something, and once I get a big, big knowledge of... Like, for certain, for instance, I know quite decent bit of guns. And so I'm going to stay at that knowledge for a while. <laughs> I'm not going to go out and find anything else unless I think it's interesting. I don't really go out of my way to do different stuff. Like, I like what I like right now. You know what I like, so why why venture out and get some more stuff? And obviously, that's probably not a good way of doing it, but, you know, it is what I'm doing right now, so. So, I right now, all I know from no CZ is... I have no idea what the fuck uh, talking about. Yeah, I don't... I, I, to be completely and entirely honest, that was the... That was the 5 o'clock in the morning me talking right, right. now. Right. But, um, so, yeah, I don't know. CZ's handguns, the 75 especially, is very nice. Um, I know CZ mostly from Black Ops 1. Okay. Um, Shadow, that's pretty cool. That looks pretty cool. Um, I know Kalash Lover is a big fan of CZ's. Actually, a lot. Are. Um, a lot of people are. The CZ Shadows are quality firearms. I think their slides are a little bit too like low profile. They're kind of hard to get to. Mm -hmm. They get a good grip on, but that doesn't stop people apparently. But the CZ 75 is a pretty sleek looking gun. It's kind of like a, a better... I'm about to say something here. <laughs> um, do I want to? Fuck it, I'm gonna say it. it's kinda like a cooler looking 1911. That's fair. There's a lot of things that look cooler than a 1911. That's true. 
So, yeah, the SPO ones, those are nice. Ew. So, I'm gonna go with just a, a good old CZ75. I think that's a, that's a reliable choice. The Scorpion Evo is a good the choice, gun but. From, that's the gun from uh, Jackal and Siege, right? Maybe. I don't actually know, to be honest. It's like a, it's like a really, really long M4. Uh oh. A really long M4? No, it's a handgun. I don't know. Oh wow. Yeah, I don't know. It's I a. I think what I just said proves that I don't know. Yeah. Uh, then uh, look it up. Look up a CZ75. Uh, that is the point of this episode. I warned you that you're going to need to do this. CZ firearms. Just CZ75. You don't got to go through all uh, these hoops. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. New Stitch and updated control. Scorpion handguns. Yeah, that looks good. P10C. CCP10C of the E. P10. 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 Next page. <laughs> You're t really taking the long three. way around here. CC70. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. CCP07. I like those. The P07. Let me go back to CC's website real quick. I think I can kind of picture what you're talking about here. Those look like sick. It looks like a P320. Ooh. That would be perfect. Can they do that? That actually literally looks like a hammered P320. I'm going to go with that. That is my favorite CZ. The CZP... The CZP-07. P- is my dash. favorite CZ. Oh, seven. In regular black, because that's just what I'm looking at right now. Probably a different color, but... Why didn't the I? The green looks okay, I guess. Let me... Get there. Oh, yeah! Ooh, that's fair. That is very fair, actually. Isn't it? Those are oh, pretty cool nope. looking. nope. Switch it. Switch it. Switch it. PZ... Or, or CZ... P-07 Suppressor Ready. P-07 Suppressor mm. Ready. Suppressor ah, Ready. With that little thread of barrel. That's right. That's right. Well, the P-07's only 585 bucks. That's pretty affordable. Sounds like a purchase. Yeah, honestly. Because I know a lot of people really like CZs. I know that CZ is like a oh, pretty yeah. reputable handgun manufacturer, especially oh, in the yeah, concealed 100%. carry market, so that's pretty tempting, because, uh, oh, well, one of the guys, uh, there's a YouTube channel that I watch that I, I hear him talk about it a lot, he's uh, Honest Outlaw, Honest Outlaw, that's his name. Honest Outlaw, I watch He him, yep. talks about CZ's a lot. I don't watch too lot. much of his stuff. And but CZ is kind of movies. like his preferred carry brand, especially because they're s hammer fired. Double action, single actions, which are, in my opinion, better than strip. I prefer them. But, so, yeah, actually, I'm going to agree with you here, and I'm going to say the CZP07. There we go. Seems I've converted myself and others to guns. <laughs> Alright, sure. Sure. Yes. Next, we move on to another European manufacturer, this time in Belgium. Fabrique FN. Nationale. Is that what it is? Fabrique Nationale, yeah. Never knew that. I just call them FN. I'm fancy like Applebee's, so, you know. On a date night. <laughs> I hate that song, but well. whatever. Yeah. Well. So. Uh, FN Scar 20. I mean, I've shot it before. It's it's It was on favorite FN even before I shot it. Um, I have held a SCAR-20. God, they're fucking heavy. I've I've held a guys actually. When Cabela's first opened around here in 2016, uh, <laughs> they had one uh, in and, uh, yeah, it was cool. It was a SCAR-17 something. 
L H Ow I don't know. I O Ow 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 <laughs> But FN's got a lot of good shit on offer. Of scars, yeah. So there's the FN P ninety, of course. The FN five seven. The FN five seven. The FN scar, which if uh, honestly, if I'm picking a scar, it's gonna be the seventeen. Personally, the twenty. Well, actually, the twenty is my favorite. Right. Oh, that's why that looked that way. Uh, now that I think about it, yeah, I'd say the seventeen S, but the the twenty is nice too. I do like it. Oh, I love the FN15 Military Collector M4 and Military Collector M16. For a while, I was thinking of getting until I realized that they're 1800 bucks now. And I want some that. They do have. They do make the F, uh, the uh, the M249 as well as the 240, which is pretty cool. But to be honest, my favorite offering from them is probably their handguns and I think specifically I'm going to choose the high power the FN I like FN in their handguns I like the FN 509 and the FN X is nice too 509s yes their 509s are super cool yeah that's a, that's a valid choice but that's not my favorite I like the snare toy yeah that's fair uh, the high power, I mean, FN did this in response to Springfield, which we'll talk about later. But, uh, I mean, I like the high power. Striker, f or sorry, hammer fired, metal frame, 9mm. Uh, lately I've been having a big liking. Now, this is really the 1911, but better. Because it's, it's very similar, but it looks better and is in 9mm. You can also get it with that wood grip, that classic wood grip that looks very, very nice. Mm -hmm. It is a little bit expensive, though. It's a little bit pricey. But in terms of FN, that's probably what I'd say is my favorite. Um, yeah. But, I don't know. The Scar is a close second, because that's probably the most unique thing they have. Maybe the P90. There's something else I know of. I wouldn't say it's unique, because it is annoying. To hear every Fortnite kid be like, is that a scar? Is it a scar to from a Fortnite? Fucking, yeah. To a fucking Glock 17, you know? Yeah. That's true. It's it's pretty annoying. I, I will definitely agree with you there on that factoid. It's it's pretty annoying. But, but deal with the facts and acknowledge the fact that the Scar 20 is a fucking badass rifle. And if a fort, if it was affordable, it should be in the hands of every person. I just remembered about the FNFAL. Wow. Eh, no, I like the Scar 20. I do like the FAL. The FN Ballista? FAL is up there. In fact, I would put it right behind the 20. Right after the 9. And then... It, the Ballista is pretty cool. Then it finds its home on my list. You know what the Ballista is? The, uh... I do not remember. It's a... Bolt action rifle. And it's pretty yep. neat. It's uh it's super tactical. It was in Black Ops 2. Mm. So that's all I've got for that, but yeah, I love FN yeah. is one of my favorite manufacturers. They just there's so many goods that they have. Yeah. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm not sure why I didn't just say the F the M16A4 is my favorite from them, because let's be honest here, uh, no one else can A4. There are other people who make retro M16s, M16A4, so why I didn't just go with the start, not exactly. Is that what you're, going, what you're going with now? That's what I'm going with now, yeah. So we're going from the high first, power folks. to the... M16A4. They also pretty much have like license for uh, military air 15s so that's kind of well, nice. There you go. 
FN is just their legends in the military market. That is why I like them. All right, what have we got next? Good old Glock. Good old Glock. I'm gonna go with the uh, Glock 18. I think I said it. What I'm gonna say yeah, now? Yeah, the Glock 18. I have a choice, you know, one of the only real full auto handguns out there. Obviously not on the market, but out there. I mean, I kind of like, what's a single stack? Three? You like no, a single a stack? No, that's it's the 44. small, compact. The 40, okay, so the, the 43, I believe, is a single stack. Let me, let me see here. The single stack only because it's... I saw someone do like a, a custom thing on it and I thought it looked cool. <laughs> you could do that with any Glock. It's small it's and I know, but it's... Well, fine then. I'm going to be a basic bitch Glock guy and say the Glock 17. Just go with the Glock Oh, 18. you know what I like? No, 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 You know what I like? You know what I like? I like the, the, the Glock 19 Gen 5. Glock 19 Gen 5. That's what I'm going with. Gen 5 19. So the regular uh, 19. Sure, Dale, it'll be difficult. Well, I don't know, it's just a, what's, I mean, the only difference between the 19 Gen 4 and the Gen 5 is the fact that Gen 5 doesn't have the finger grooves. <sighs> My favorite is the Glock 19X because it's in Flat Dark Earth. That's it. Is that, oh, I thought that's what I was... No. Okay, that's the one. Oh. That's the one. That okay. that was my home screen years. <laughs> the first... That's funny. Oh, for one for one year. So we both agree it's the Glock 19X because that is the best. It's tan. Yeah. It's the only Glock that looks remotely interesting. Because it's 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 the only standout Glock in their entire lineup. Really. Nine millimeter comp. It's a classic. Almost was in the military, but they realized that other things are better. <laughs> yeah. Don't know how they could ever forget that, though. Really? So, yeah. I mean, there's, there's really not a whole lot to go off of on Glock. Glock is kind of the gold standard for handguns. Especially, uh, striker-fired polymer frame wine mills. Or really anything. Striker-fired polymer frame handguns. There's not a whole lot that, I mean, it's a timeless look, but it's not a very interesting look. It's just kind of tried and true, but like, there are more interesting things out there. There's more appealing things out there, mm -hmm. but it's always a reliable choice. They're very good, but very affordable firearms. But, I mean, there's, you can't go wrong with it, other than the fact that you can only go so right with it. Exactly. So, I mean, that's it's, it's just a boring Glock. That's pretty much the. Yeah. That's pretty much just the basic bitch kind of handgun. It so. really is. Everyone's got one. Yeah. Everyone who has only one gun for the purpose specifically of home and or self defense is always a Glock. So, that's just kind of my thoughts on it. I like Glock. Don't get me wrong. It's just that's really all they have. <laughs> yeah. Next on the list, Heckler and Coke, H and K. Now I was thinking about this earlier, because mm -hmm. I was thinking five seven, five, seven, right? But then I was thinking four point seven, and the four point seven is the MP seven. Hmm, I completely forgot about the MP seven. Not my favorite. But a thought, you know, I mean, that's a pretty cool gun still, so. It is. It is cool. Um, but 417. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's about what I figured. Yeah. I mean, it's a good gun. The 417's cool. Yeah. That's, it is, isn't it? It's really all I that, to That's say what it matter. is. That's it's all cool. there is. It's, it's cool. I, mean, I like it. It's a like, solid AR-10. I'd say I prefer the 416, but actually no, I, I do quite re I do quite like the 417. Actually, it was in Call of Duty Ghosts. Um, it's a it's one of the cooler 
air tent. It's not really an air tent because it's um, piston driven. It's not gas. It's not a direct impingement. It's still, it's still like a DMR. Yeah. It still serves the same purpose. That is true. Yeah, the HK417 is, is probably better than the 416. But my favorite ballistics wise is the UMP 45 extremely fair the UMP 45 it's a cool looking gun I've always liked the look of it I'm not exactly sure why but I've always liked the look of it I've always preferred it over the the MP5 um and unfortunately it's one of the only things in the civilian market uh, although maybe that's for the best because HK likes to butcher whatever they put onto the civilian market, like the uh, G36 and the uh, the MP5 and everything else. Yeah. There's one thing they didn't butcher, and that is absolutely nothing. Actually, the 416 is like in its pretty like authentic state. Mm -hmm. MP7. MP7 is very nice. I do like the MP7 a lot, but I think the it's UMP just a cool is gun. That's why I mentioned better. it because we didn't think yeah. about it earlier. Yeah. So I like I like I, I like H and K. I like a lot of what they have. They're a unique brand. One of the only brands that has an AR-15 style rifle, but it's it it is a twist on the AR-15. Contract to uh, with the U.S. Marine Corps for the primary infantry rifle in the form of the M27, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, they're they're up there in terms of manufacturers. I'd say they. Uh, I have a I have a, a list. I will tell you if they're top ten or if they're top five. They're probably top ten though, because they are just kind of over. They're a little overpriced. Mm -hmm. But you can't really get those designs anywhere else. So I mean, if if you want it, you're gonna have to go to them. You know, it's not like Colt, where it's like you get Colt because you want the brand, not because you want the gun. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So that's just kind of some thoughts there on that concept. But obviously, you know, I mean, it just it depends on personal preference, of course. I actually don't have. H and K. Oh, they're number seven. I was like that next. We'll see. Anyway. Next manufacturer on the list. Henry USA. Twenty two Golden Boy. I mean that's fair. Yeah. I mean it's just cool. That's fair. The Golden Boy though they also make in cooler calibers like four ten. Mm -hmm. And 357, and 44, and 3030, and 4570, <laughs> which I prefer to 22. I only said 22 because uh, I I only knew that they came out with different calibers just uh, 10 seconds ago. So they have a bunch of like tribute editions: American Ro Rodeo, Second Amendment, Coal Miner, American Farmer, Law Enforcement Tribute, That's cool. Trucker Tribute, God Bless America. Edition, Golden Boy, Stand for the Flag Edition, God Bless America Edition, Big Boy. Hmm. They have Mayor's Legs. Um, I like a lot of what they have to offer. I'm a big fan of the, the side gates, personally. I like the brass frames, but I'm not sure if I'd get one, just because I feel like my shoulder would not like not having that recoil pad that the, the side gates do. <laughs> But that is one of Henry's trademarks, is those, the brass receivers. So I'd say probably like a brass, um, 410, or what I actually stated, something, uh, somewhat unique to Henry. The Long Ranger is a, um, magazine fed. Lever action chambered in either 223 Remington slash 556, 243 65. They're sleek mm. rifles, magazine fed, so you can get some of them higher end calibers if you don't feel like using 4570 or 3030. Um, and also 1100 bucks, almost 1200 bucks 
but they are pretty nice. And the stocks are gorgeous <laughs> on them, too. My only yeah. issue with them is they don't have a pistol grip. They're the, the straight grip, which is huge. But I really like Henry. I'm a big lever action guy, as some of y'all know. Uh, and Henry's got a lot of good stuff on offer. They're also a lot more stable than Marlin. So that's kind of mm. the thought process there. <laughs> Kalashnikov Concern. Slash Kalashnikov USA. I think earlier we discussed uh, my favorite was the 103. Uh, it is the. K yeah, the KR 103. Basically, they're generic. Do they like make Dragonovs? AK-74 ammo. Yes. Uh, I don't Maybe. Know, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think so. Oh, I don't think so. Damn. So it would be pretty cool. Yeah, we're gonna stick with the. <sighs> stick with the 103 then. Dragonovs are really cool, but yeah. The KR-103, <gasps> semi-automatic civilian version of the AK-103. 21st century version of Russia's famous AKM. Is it in. Okay, it's in. Not 545, which is important when talking about uh, modern AKs. It's basically like an AK. AKM. Or it's kind of a mix between an AK 74M and an AKM. Because it's 762, but it's got the 74 brake. Uh, and a few other features, and all the the plastic furniture instead of what else. I'm on a three particular fan of the KS12. I really like Saiga 12s, and that is what they offer along those lines. Um, it's one of it's one of the only like shotguns based off of an firearm that I actually like. Because, like, I don't like AR-15 style shotguns. I think they yeah. look silly. But, uh... Silly for some case. reason, that Psyga 12 is just... Mm, schmexy. Isn't it? Probably yeah. in, uh, one of my top five favorite shotguns. Who makes the AA-12? That is Atchison. So we're gonna go back to A, and we're gonna go and say <laughs> A-12 as uh, my favorite for whatever he just said. For FPS Russia, okay. At the Atchison A12, which actually Atchison doesn't even exist anymore. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Designed in 1972. God damn. Uh, I accidentally hit the electric or emergency brake. See. I don't know. I like the I like the KS12. And like some good old the KR9 is cool too the little uh, nine millimeter. It's neat. I don't like it as much though. Magnum Research makers of one of the most iconic handguns of all time. That no one knows the manufacturer's name, but they all know the guns. They all know the gun. That's right. The, the, the Desert Eagle. They specifically, do, the 50. Specifically in 50, specifically in Gold Tiger Strike Horse. Specifically Matt Carroll. Yes. Titanium Gold Tiger Stripe. Tiger and if you stripe. answer anything yeah, else, anything you, have, else like you have... There we go. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, they also have 1911s. They're 2011s, but whatever. That's cool. I don't care. But yeah, let's be honest here. That's, that's let's be honest. Those aren't relevant. Or er, that isn't relevant. <laughs> what relevant. I do like <laughs> the relevant elephant. Mm, pretend I didn't hear that. Uh. The Magnum <laughs> Research BFR. I almost laughed so hard there. I almost shit my pants. <laughs> Known to Magna Research as the biggest, finest revolver. Known to men as a big fucking biggest revolver. Biggest fucking revolver, <laughs> yeah. The BFR is a single-action army-style revolver that can be chambered in anything from 357 to... Uh, what was the what was the largest caliber I saw? Well, let's just go over some of the things that did. Shall we? 
57 Magnum, 454 Casul, 44 Magnum, 50 AE, 3030, 450 Marlin, 45 Long Colt, and 410. That's actually really cool that you can get it in 410. 4570 Government, and 500 Smith & Wesson, among a few others that aren't as notable. Let's be honest. A revolver that can shoot high-powered rifle cartridges, that's pretty cool. Let's be honest. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, I'm just like, I'm kind of tired of the Desert Eagle. I love it, but it's just kind of a tired design. Not like the BFR. The BFR isn't as well known, so it's still really cool. I guess. It's kind of the best way of putting it. I don't know, I just, I have a, I have a soft spot for the BFR. It's my favorite revolver. Because it's I had the, the best... Cause your 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 best fucking revolver. Cause it's the best fucking revolver. Yep, exactly. So after that, we're gonna move on to Marlin, another very well known lever action manufacturer. I'm a big fan of Marlin. They're not currently manufacturing anything other than the 1851. What was it? Like BDL 18, 1895. Where did I get 51 from? Oh, probably my Colt. 1895. Uh, yeah. It's one of them. But this this was actually the uh, the weapon featured in Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Um, it's also oh. a sexy rifle. So is the uh, Marlin. 36, but I prefer 4570 over 3030 personally. So that's just my idea here. here. They also offer 18 or 1894 in Mike Echo. In Mike Echo. Um, no, I don't. But they also offer an 1894 in something, and they offer some rimfire options as well, including a 1022 competitor. But yeah, I like the. But yeah, I like the. Stop Mike Echo. No, I don't. <laughs> I didn't even say it yet. So, not really a whole lot to go over there. They don't really have a whole lot of production models. In fact, they have one right now, but even before then, they really didn't. That's kind of why I've started to like Henry a bit more, just because they're a little easier to find stuff for, but... Oh, well. Mossberg. No. I can hear your doctor. I can hear your... No. I... I'm trying to fix it. Not doing a very good job. Listen, Daughtry is. I had to turn it back on because I was kind of falling asleep for a little bit. <laughs> Sounds like you need the monster. Yeah, just a little bit. Uh, today we are going over the guns. Uh, what? <laughs> Sounds like somebody's uh, you been said asleep Bushmaster, this whole podcast. Right? No. Oh, uh, what did you say? I said Mossberg. That's We're right. all the way into the, the We haven't 500. talked about Bushmaster since like three minutes in. The boss, the boss master. I mean the 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 Mossberg. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, Ohio! Wake up! <laughs> gonna blast this horn until I wake up. Yeah, really. Find you. So. What about now? What about Win uh, I almost said Winchester. Mossberg has a lot of actually kind of neat stuff on offer. They're most well known for the. Oh my god. What? So they're most well known for their for the Mossberg 500 and the Mossberg 590. Although they're also they also have the Maverick 88, which is a more affordable shot pump action shotgun. It's actually very quality as well. They have the 940, which is what Jerry Michalek uses in competition. Get your annoying ass dog with. <laughs> Hell yeah. Or your annoying ass neighbor. I mean. Uh, they have the M2C, Don't which is a. That. Com Don't gun. condone that. Uh, that behavior here on the uh, Ohio Man and Dale Wolf Art channels. Hey, in short, they have a bunch of pretty neat stuff. On my personal Mossberg 500 retrograde. What are you thinking here? What's your favorite Mossberg? The 500. Just a regular old 500? Synthetic or Woodstock? Yep. Synthetic. Yeah, you would say that, little bitch. Fuck you. <laughs> I like my synthetic stocks that last.
longer. I like my woodstocks to look better. Ooh, don't scratch the wood. Oh um, my, don't scratch the wood on my new Mossberg. My, mo my new Mossberg. Oh, don't scratch the wood now. Well, you gotta remember that uh, woodstocks have been around. Watch how you set it down! Literally the beginning of time, and, you know, you can still find, like, you know, Winchester shotguns from, like, early 1900s that still have wood on them, so I'm not sure what you're going on about there, to be honest. Pal. Please don't scratch my rifle! <laughs> you have replete brain deadness, Ohio. It's too late. You have tended past the point of comprehension. No, I passed the point of no return on the sleep. Uh, once it passes five o'clock, I don't sleep. So mm. I've pretty much secured the all-nighter. I'll fall asleep <laughs> at nine o'clock. Nice. Uh. All right. Well, we're gonna you're gonna have to keep it together here for another. Let's see. Mm -hmm. One, two, mm -hmm. three, four, five, six, mm -hmm. seven, eight, mm -hmm. nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen mm -hmm. more pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Starting with number 13, mm -hmm. a recent discovery for the both of us, Paul McCartney. Uh, no, not both of us, you. Well, no, I've, I've, you gotta remember, I've had Palmetto State Armory saved for a long time. I've had them bookmarked for a while now. Not about them since, like, 2018, I would say. Anyway, who cares? Uh, Palmetto State Armory, what are you looking at? I think I do. Uh, the PSA Gen 3, uh, 20-inch barrel... Well, let me go back. <laughs> I'm looking at the PSA Palmetto 15 State 20 inch nitride. I went wrong. Palmetto A2. State Armory. Okay. Palmetto State Armory is manufactures mostly AR 510s and AK 47s. That's kind of their general specialty, is um, just, you know, like rifles. Um, and they make some decently affordable ones to boot, which is pretty nice. Um, they're a good place to look for those kinds of things. Um, so I'm pretty sure the rifle that I wanted to get is now currently out of stock. That's an L. It is a massive L. Just considering buying one. Maybe not. We might be able to salvage it here. <laughs> well, just because it's sold out on the website doesn't mean it's sold out in stores. Although I'm sure you won't be able to find it in the first place, but, you know, never hurts to try. Let me in. Let me in. Well, I just looked up at my screen and I am speeding big time. I might derail the train. This oh, might wow, affect I'm the zooming. economy. Okay. I love the fact of speeding on a train. I think that oh, is hilarious. Oh, it's bad. <laughs> it's bad. So, uh, anyway. Uh, PSA makes some sub thousand dollar M16 style AR-15s. So, for the next AR-15 I get there, probably where I'm gonna look. But we shall see. Don't wait for the time PSA to Gen 3, PA-65, mid-length. Or rifle length 6.5 Creedmoor stainless lightweight M lock MOE EPT rifle out of stock as of probably yesterday. M lock? That's gay. You're gay. Yeah, well, fuck you, I think is the proper. Yeah, that was it. Well, that side's going so slow. I lost a wagon. I'm mad because that's sold out now. That, that, uh, that happens a lot, actually. I hit that on the, yeah, okay, I was just making sure that was the, uh... Hmm. Yeah, I was, I was at 55 and a 30. Oh my god! Going downhill with a 1.4, 1 point, uh, downhill grade. With no brakes. <laughs> no throttle, but no brakes. All right, moving on to, I think what we agree is our favorite manufacturer, Remington. I think Remington is yes. the next one. 
Yes, my friend. Remington's kind of yes, gone Remington. downhill in quality as of late, but historically they're they historically just they make amazing. Shit. They used to make AR-15s that weren't half bad. Um, of course I they didn't make. Know they made our yeah. The Remington R5, the Remington you R4. You know, I learn something every day. So. Uh, <laughs> The what? I said, let's hear it from you. Let's... Well, you've got my favorite gun, the M24 SWS, which stands for Sniper Weapon System. Which is based and off of Remington. So Remington 700. And I guess I would put it in a M24 stock. Whatever mm. stock that is. The Macmillan. No, it's something no, else. No, that's not the McMillan. It's just a... It's a something. It's an adjustable stock, I guess is the best way of putting it. M24 stock. It is high precision Pro Series M24 Technicton 700 stock. Did you just look that cool. up? Cool! Yes, sir. Cool. Maybe I'm the one who wheels. Let's get some frantic psycho, yeah. Anyhow. Yeah. Yeah. I also Sorry, quite like listen the to that song right now. I prefer the Remington 700 because it's not synthetic, but... Yep. What'd you say? <laughs> nice. I said I like the M24, I prefer the Remington 700 because it's not synthetic. However, mm, what I really communist. prefer... <laughs> is the Remington 870 M's not MCS Wingmaster cuz I like wood cuz I am a man Well yeah you do Maybe uh, I know what <laughs> Maybe I know what. I mean there's a lot of good things on offer the Remington 700 is great uh the Remington 1100 is also very nice uh, they do make a 1911. A order of Remington firearms that I like. You go 700 in the M24 configuration. Mm -hmm. Then it goes 700 in a oh. uh, regular, like, yeah. well, like I have a tactical, like, my competition configuration. Competition configuration. So, like some the some fuck super, would that be? some super super stupid like composite metal stock. That's like adjustable in every single way, shape, and form, and like something so like you that. Mean I don't like know the anything M2010? like that. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. And then, okay. and then I would put it in a 700, uh, and just a wood stock. You know, some cool yeah. engraving, and you know. Absolutely. And then, then, and then I would put it in a. Oh, you thought I was going to say 700 again. No, I'm going to put no. it in an 1100 shotgun. Ouch, above the 870 that you have. Yes, sir. That we have. Yes, sir. And then, yes, we have this. Anyhow. <laughs> God damn. We don't use the word our around here, okay? <laughs> we don't use words like we and Mile our after I've used it. Okay, fine. Miles for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, push you around. Well, I will. Well, I will. What were you talking about? I'm surprised you never bring so up the So then I'd M40. go eight. Mm -hmm. uh, you know the Marine Corps Remington. Yeah, 700. the Marines use it. You know they do. Their also, thing with can it. have and, uh, a Woodstock, which makes it better. Alright. Year round, seems to run a little bit too much around here, okay? It says you, Mr. ADHD. <laughs> As I've been tired this whole time at. What time is it? 6 o'clock in the morning. Good Hello. morning to all my fellow Ohioans and fellow Eastern Time Americans, actually. Um, if I'm being uh, honest. Um. So, 
Anyway, we're getting way what out of hand. What was I saying? Here. So yeah, Remington, the 870. 870 yeah. is my cool. favorite. And the That's yours. Is Mine is the second. Yep, with the, the pros, whatever stock I said earlier. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, M24 style. Next. Yes. Yes. Oh, on the oh, list. Caliber 300 Win Mag. 12 gauge. Next. Rug. A classic. A lot of good options. I don't know what I said earlier. AR556. Yep. There are a lot of really good options for Ruger, to be completely honest. I mean, it's you can really go... You really can't go wrong with Ruger, to be honest. Everyone's they first really gun, can. either the Mark IV or the 1022. Well, not everyone's first gun, but every, almost or everyone's... Mark a Mark II. My dad My has a Mark II. My grandpa has a Mark II. Oh, that's cool. My dad's probably not far off from the age of your grandpa, though. <laughs> Is he 80? Oh, no, he's way younger than that. Never mind. How old are your parents? 50. Oh, same. Uh, I just got ran over by a deer. I thought I had super cool young parents, huh? A lot of people do. You wish. I don't. I don't really care, to be honest. Anyway, I mean, Ruger's got a lot of cool things. They got, I mean, in terms of pistols, we got the 5.7, the SR-1911. I've shot that. Uh, the Mark IV. I've shot a Mark II. Same thing. Uh, to be honest, though, I don't really care for their pistols that much. Really, where they stand out is their revolvers and their rifles. Uh, I like the bear. Uh, I like the the new model Blackhawk. That thing's pretty. Cool. Uh, I like their single action army replicas. Those are pretty cool. Rex neat. Um, I like the Ruger American. Uh, I like the Mini 14, the 1022, the Air 556, PC carbine. They have a lot of cool offerings. And to be honest, it's kind of hard to pick a favorite, mostly because none of them really stand out that much. But a lot of things are cool, and to be, I'm gonna go with the Mini 14, because so I feel mm -hmm. like that's the most unique go. to them. Like that's, I mean, the Mini 14 is cool, a cool rifle. Two two is basically a, uh, what am I thinking? An M14, but it shoots two two three instead of a. Real aid. It's a pretty cool rifle, though. I like them. Anything to say on uh, Ruger? Yep, AR556. Reliable choice. It's a quality AR15. It's going to want to yep. go. I mean, you really can't go wrong with Ruger. They have a lot of options, especially for somebody who's beginning <laughs> to get into arms. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> I also, for some reason, seem to forget that they're American sometimes. I'm not sure why, but like for some reason, I, they just seem kind of. They German do seem to German. Me. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it, gets a, it gives you that German, that German feel, but they are American, and I never thought they were German because of the Ruger American. You fucking dumbass. Oh yeah, I'm not saying that. They, I'm not saying I thought they weren't. It's just sometimes I like think in the background. You know what I mean. Also, Ruger's logo is used in, but, uh, in uh, Hank Jr.'s logo, so just saying. Used as the background. Epic Poggers moment. Next Savage manufacturer. Arms. I hope you uh, scrolled all the way down. Scrolled all the way down? Why? why? M110, I think. Model 110? M1100. One. Is that what it is? There's a model. I'm not. Maybe. You tell me. You're the Did one. Did you check my Instagram? Choice, not my, yeah, it just said Savage Bolt Action. Oh, really? Yeah, you didn't specify. I, swear. I thought I did. Nope. Damn it. Does the video even play anymore? Mm, no, it was an image. Damn it. I'm yeah, gonna it was double check though. Video. 
I'm scrolling all the way down. Me too. Wow, it actually loaded pretty quick. No, it's... Oh, uh, it didn't for oh, me. Oh, it just says 308 Savage. Man. 308 Savage Rifle. Damn it. It was like a... It was like an M110 or something. Or an M... M... It wasn't an M110. It was a... Uh, Let me see if I can refine it to tactical. Savage Arms. That's the brand. Yeah, I know. We're looking no, I was at searching it. Right I don't now. type things in oh, my phone. Oh, I forgot your game. I hit the microphone and I say what I want. Yeah, like I said, I forgot your game. Let me make sure I had the brakes on. Yeah, it looks uh, tactical. Uh, uh, sorts. I'm not sure what ones they make tactical, though. I like the, uh, the Axis, too. Hardwood. Is uh Woodstock. That's really about it. I don't really care a whole lot for Savage. I don't dislike them. Uh, I have 110 no real Apex. To like them. No, it was a. Uh, maybe it was a 110 Elite. I don't see any one dial of stock unless that was aftermarket. Then none of them have like tactical stocks. Like that one did. I'm getting my favorite part of the. So, so I'm looking here. Not exactly sure what you're looking at, to be honest. It was a. I'm looking here. A series. Nope, that's uh, Rimfire. B series. B series. Rimfire. Honor series. Again, not really what yeah. I'm looking for. Looking for nice echo. Uh, no. <laughs> the impulse. Ooh, okay. Impulse. M110, oh. or not M110. Model 110. 110 long range hunter 338 Lapua. Look at that. Long range hunter. Now you know I'm a sucker for long barrels. Lapua. And that is Echo. It's my Echo. <laughs> yeah. Uh, is it fixed? Nope. Nope. Now it is. Long Feels Range Hunter. Like specifically. Tonight. In 338. Scratch Lapua. that. 110 Elite Precision right hand. So, so not 110 the left. Elite Precision. I bet you like hand. the ones in the classic. Elite precision. Where's elite precision? Looking for elite precision. Can't find the 110 elite precision. Yeah, I don't know. Savage is basically just a bolt action rifle manufacturer. They just. I don't know. They don't really stick out to me in my head, but I have But they're anyway. very, very nice. And honestly, to be completely and entirely honest with you, if I find a decent savage rifle tomorrow, and I don't find anything else, I'll be honest with you right now, I'll buy it. I'm sure. I don't doubt that at all. No, I'm not looking at these prices, because I'm sure they're going to be a little scary for the ones that I'm interested in. <laughs> Especially that 330. At 338, it's going to be scary. I'm going to look at this, uh, not the Elite Precision one, but I'm going to look at this one, HS Precision. What is this? What do we got for MSRP? Ooh, let's not look at that. <laughs> uh, I don't know. 1300 is a little bit. It's a little number. It only hurt. Hey, when I opened my eyes for that was one. Just the you know, that too. <laughs> I opened my eyes for that one. All right. You know, yeah. prices are seen and purchases don't happen. No. <laughs> so now we move on to another company in the S's, Sig Sauer. Ah, yes, our second favorite. Yep. Our. 
commie bastard. Anyhow. Damn, man. Anyway, um, um, I kind of bounced back and forth, honestly, between the P320, and, or sorry, M18, and the P226. Nope, I'm full uh, M18 all the way. So you've moved from the... Uh, but I like the full-size P320s. Okay. Well, then yeah. wouldn't you prefer the, the M17 or the M18? No, because I don't like the way the slide extends. That's true. I prefer the M7. I prefer the M18. So, what do you think? An M18 but or like P320? P320. Ah, uh, okay. I like some of the... M I like the old M400 when it looked more mil-spec, but now it looks super civilian-spec, and I think it looks like shit. I like the grip, yeah. though. The grip's nice. Uh, I mean, the, MP the MCX... And no, you know, oh, I forgot, the MCX, okay, I have to go with the MCX Virtus. MCX Virtus. Full rifle length, though, rifle length Virtus. MCX Virtus. I mean, that's fair. I prefer their handguns. And I think today, honestly, I'm actually going to go with the, uh, the P226. Cause it's a virus. I don't know, I mean, to me, SIG really is just a handgun brand. I mean, I they have rifles. What about the Cross? Oh my god! <laughs> Stop reminding me of shit. Cross, dude. I'm not MCX awake right now. Okay, SIG, SIG Cross is my favorite. Okay, I SIG Cross is my favorite. You know. Yeah, I know, that's like right up my alley. Exactly. Yeah. The exact words of Dale Wolfhard. That's right up your alley, so like. Uh, I do say that a lot, don't I? I'm gonna be right up your goddamn alley if you don't shut the fuck up. Oh, there, Chief. Chieftain. You know, I absolutely love SIG. I love their handguns. The P320, the P226, the M17, and the M18 are legendary handguns. I love them dearly. And honestly, I don't have a whole lot of us to say for some reason, but I do, I love them. I don't really care for their rifles, though. They all just look super... Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Poggers. Too much Hemlock and Key Mod. Mm. Uh, agreed. Smith and After I Wesson. Lay down a juicy fart. Smith, <laughs> Smith and Wesson. Juicy was not a good way to describe that. No. The uh, the M and P nine is nice. Uh, I like some. I like some of the uh, Smith and Wesson revolvers, but I mean, I gotta go with <laughs> the Smith and Wesson M and P fifteen. Sport 2. I mean, come on. It's... It's a... It's, frankly, it's a classic AR-15. That is yeah. the... AR-15. In my opinion. That's the basic bitch of AR-15. Right? It really is. But there's a reason for that. It's a good rifle. It's affordable. And it's from a reputable manufacturer that people know of. You know what I mean? I like it. There's a reason I bought one on site, basically. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, that does not look good. I riddled a horse with bullets, and it is grotesque. I'm not really sure what I like with Smith & Wesson, because... I don't know. Ugh. I like a lot of things from them. I'd say they're, they're within my top ten. Definitely. But probably not in the top five. Yeah, I... I'm trying to think. Because I don't really know much of Smith & Wesson. 
All I really know is the MMP Sport. Like, oh, they have. Easy carry. Yeah, I mean, they have the that. MMP 9, which is more oh, like the MMP Shield. Um, oh, I do like that series, though. The MMP pistols are very nice. My dad's a big fan of those. They are pretty nice. I do like them. Relatively affordable as well. Uh, the MMP M2.0 is very nice. Yeah, like that one. So, I don't know uh, really, but that's um, what I'd say. That's what I'm I doing. guess the uh, MMP9. Okay. Yeah, cause just because, like, I don't really do much with them in Aerosmith and Wesson, you know? I just. Yeah, I guess that's fair. It's like, yeah, they exist, you know? <laughs> I guess. Because I like to have one of their knives. Okay. Oh yeah. Great knives. Great knives. Okay knives, really. That's fair. They're really cheap knives. They are. Good cheap knives. Their their OTFs are like the action. Uh, what you call them? You know. Uh huh. So next we move on to another one of my favorite brands, Springfield Armory. Now, if you don't answer the same goddamn one that I do right now, probably we might not. as well end this shit right now. I'm not gonna lie, we probably won't. M1 Grand. Mm, that's You're not Springfield that Armory. Yet. What? The M1 it's Grand? Springfield. No. Springfield Armory never made the M1 Grand. They make the M1A. Oh my god! But the M1A is an M14. Reproduction. The Springfield Armory that made the 03 and the M1 Garand and the Trapdoor Rifle, that's not the same company. Just so you know. Yeah, okay. Really? Not the Model 2? In this conversation? No. Not the uh, bolt action McMillan no. stock at the Cheek Riser? Wait, what? Yeah. I think the Hellcat um, is hot. Yeah, yeah, the Hellcat's pretty nice. It's one of the it's only Springfield I've shot. It's nice. This 1911. Selector, that's my favorite 1911. Uh, Show all. I love the SA35. Concealed carry micro precision. There we go. I like the Saint. Hunter. Ooh. The Hellion's great. Ooh, what is this? A seventeen hundred dollar <laughs> rifle, maybe. Yeah. But it's pretty good. Is this the only model they have? Is the 2020? Oh, what's this? Yeah, I like the what M1A. What is CA compliant? California compliant. Don't answer that. I know. <laughs> I... <laughs> Unfortunately, you know what that is. I like the Hellion. To be honest, I think I'm going to go with the SA35. I think that's my favorite. I do. Re the, the, the Springfield 1911 is my favorite 1911. But, uh, I gotta go with that SA-35. The Saint Victor. Is that, that your favorite? Cool. No. Oh. What is your favorite? Well, I'm still looking. Alright, that's fair. They have a lot of really cool stuff. I really like Springfield. I like what they have on offer. The Saint series is cool. Oh, I remember this. The Edge ATC. I remember when they came out with that. The M1A oh, yeah, standard issue. I love this. I love the M1A. It's very nice. Standard issue is oh, okay. great. I like this M1A loaded precision rifle. Let me guess. The That's tactical high. one? Yes, sir. Not the wood one. That looks much better. No. Loaded precision Creedmoor rifle. Mm. <laughs> and now we're into handguns. Glocks. Alright. What? What looks like a Glock? Model 2020. Doesn't matter which one. Pick one. Okay. The Model 2020. Whatever's in 300 win mag. They all look the same. That's fair. They are literally all the same color. <laughs> I mean, the Hellcat's great. Although I prefer I the I think they said, let's get this Hydro Dip and let's fucking dip all these stocks. Right. And here we go. That's fair. Using the same goddamn thing for every single one of these. 
it was fair. I like the 1911, uh, what is it, the standard issue? Mil spec. 1911 mil spec. I like these a lot. It's my favorite 1911 on the market, <sighs> but the SA35 I like more. The M1A is very nice as well. I like a lot of what Springfield has to offer, to be honest. That might be my favorite brand. It might be up there. Maybe not as much as Remington. It just doesn't hold the same name value in my head as Remington, but it's top three. Steyr. I think there's really nothing other than the AUG. There's nothing other than the AUG, yep. Although they do actually have some other guns that I have heard of, but let's be honest here, it's, it's the AUG. Yeah, I don't know any of their other stuff. And don't enlighten me. <laughs> don't enlighten me. Don't enlighten me with arms Taurus. wide open. Ow! That's my knee. <laughs> Taurus. <laughs> that fucking hurt. <laughs> That's funny. Taurus makes those, uh, what do they make? They make a lot of things. The G3 and the G2C. GX4, the TX22, the night they make 1911s. Uh, they make the Judge, the Raging Bull, 44, the Raging Hunter. Ooh, I like the Raging Bulls, the 22 Hornets. Is the Raging I Bull think those Hornet? are really cool. That's fair. I don't think the Raging Bull comes in that. I think that might be a different revolver. Revolver is that? Raging Hunter. Is it comes in 22 Hornets. Is that what I said? Yeah, I'm just trying to find the one that comes in 22 Hornet because none of them have. It's I have, the Raging Hornet. It didn't say that though. Oh, the Raging Hornet. Raging Whore. Oh. Why would you talk shit like that, bro? <laughs> Don't be shitting on the Raging Hornet though. I'll sting ya. That is. That is probably. Well, it's got to be raging for a reason, right? The raging Cajun. <laughs> the raging Cajun. Taurus Tracker series. I don't see a raging hornet. Whichever one's in twenty-two hornet, because I know there is one. Somewhere. Chin Ranch has one. I'm pretty sure. Is that a Taurus? <laughs> Maybe. It's a raging something. Maybe it's a raging Cajun. I don't know. The world may never know. I like some of their handguns too. I know Taurus doesn't have the best, like, the most respect in the gun industry, but they're a good place to start if you really want to. The Taurus 92, if you want a cheap Beretta, although Berettas already aren't that expensive, so, like, just get a Beretta, but, like, yeah, if you have to. What the hell do you think you're doing, Ding Dong? <laughs> just don't be buying the shotguns, because those you can't afford. Not in a million years. <laughs> yeah, really. Hey, don't giggle like me, little bitch. <laughs> they really are. So, uh, I guess I'll just go with the Taurus Judge just because it's kind of funky. Why are the cars driving in the right side of the road? Never mind. I gotta stop playing. Fucking. I'll just Why go with the Judge. I Walther. I haven't played that game in a while. I do not like Walther. I don't like the shape of their handguns, and I won't even give you an answer because I don't like any of their stuff. Okay. I don't like their shapes. Weatherby. I don't like them. I don't know what that is. Okay, even my ten-year-old nephew does, but whatever. Our the final one, Winchester. Winchester model. <laughs> uh, <laughs> lever action. Oh, they have many. Let me list I all I know, the that's my first mistake is picking the most common thing I've ever. We've got the Model 70 is probably my favorite bolt action in practice. Their their actions are so smooth. They have the 1895, okay. the 94, the 1892, the 1884. Five. That's not that. We didn't Never mind. Cover 1886. Multiple brands that I want to go back to. Okay. Well, let's finish this and then we'll go to that. <laughs> Sorry, that was a little stretch. Mid game stretch there. <laughs> the 1866. Personally, I like the 1895 because it's uh, magazine fed. 
and uh, Theodore Roosevelt yeah. shot shit with it. It was also uh, the only lever action that's I ever shot seen show. infantry use. Not shot shit. That's a little mean. Yeah, the 1895 is the only uh, lever action that ever saw major, like, infantry military use. Which was by the Russians, but still. I do really like the Model 70, though. Uh, uh, it's not my time. Anyway, uh... Sorry, what? Winchester. Figure down was talking to me. Winchester. The Winchester Model 18... something. <laughs> God damn it. 1880s, not a rifle. Damn. Oh, it was a good try. So this is the 1866, uh, which is a brass receiver. This is the 1886, oh, cool. which is not. 1873, 1892, 1894, 1895. It's also the Model 70, which is a bolt action. I'm not going to lie, I'm going a little fast right now. I am going 40 and a 25, so let me bring that down just a little bit here. Anyhow, yeah, Winchester model of something. Any lever action. Literally, it, you can mention any lever action and I'd probably, that, I'd probably like it. That's fair. All of them are... Yep. They're all also very expensive. Of course, can't be that easy. Alright, so let's... Uh, Christians in arms. I know nothing of them. Other than their, Sad, the fact that they considering they're extremely... Expensive, and I that will never ever it. buy one. Carbon fiber barrels and custom but firearms. For Already the looking, for that. For the sake of looking, uh, crunches the norms. I think the only reason you know them oh, is right. because they sponsored. Yep. Uh, well, driver. no, 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 no. Dale, or no, not Dale. Uh, nope, that that that's my name. Uh, what's his name? Uh, Matt Carricker. Uh, Demolition uh, Ranch. Made a video. 20... Good lord. 2017. Modern sporting rifles. Have oh yeah, I've thing. been watching him since like 2016. I'm what you call an know. OG. Anyhow. Yeah, they're uh, modern sporting rifles look like shit. Modern precision rifles. Actions. Shut the fuck up, dude. Get some culture rifles. in you. Get some precision culture into you. Okay. Uh, no, the Remington 700 and the Winchester Model 70. That's it. Also, you can't say shit if you don't even. To the classic in the world of hunting rifles. Uh, also, that was it. I forgot this is a podcast. Yeah. So, uh, I don't see any wood stuff, so, so, yeah, I don't care. That's because you're a little bitch! Well, I've got to be as And you don't respect you. the long range precision game. No, I don't. Because you have none. Uh, exactly, because my aim is shit, and I like to, no, and I don't want to pretend like it's not. Yeah. <laughs> sure, we'll I don't that. pretend. I don't kid. I don't kid around. Which is no what kidding. Do. <laughs> 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 mm. <laughs> Gorge. Anyway. Uh, did you have any other manufacturers in mind that we missed? Because you said you there were uh, multiple. Uh, zebra cakes taste good. <laughs> 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 I mean... <laughs> I mean, can you sure, argue? Sure, I guess. I mean, kinda, yeah. No, I can't argue. There's better out there, but they do taste Those good. Those brownie bites? App. Hard. <laughs> yeah. Well, what kind of brown? Are we talking like cosmic brownies? Because those are one of the greatest. I'm talking cosmic ever brownies, made. bro. Absolutely, I will eat cosmic brownies and mac and cheese for the rest of my life. It's a certified. Certified epic cosmic brownie poor moment. people moment. <laughs> certified struggle meal moment. That's a childhood moment right there, if I've ever seen one. Growing up poor. Growing up poor moment. That was our enjoyment. Thank you for watching the Should Have Been a Cowboy podcast. This has been us talking about guns for... An extended period of time. 118 minutes. God damn. 
Thank you for watching. Go ahead and check out our other podcasts. It'll be in the end screen, I'm sure, somewhere. Go ahead and check out Dale Wolfhart. Go ahead and check out Ohio Man. Ohio yeah. Man Gaming, actually. I should probably mention that, because you can only really find my channel if you search Ohio Man. So, True I should probably change my username again. Probably. With that being said, thank you for watching. And, uh, got anything else for you. Nope. One last thing for you. Any dad yeah, advice? Uh, any dad it's advice? Turn. It's your turn. I think it is my turn. You know, yeah. uh, don't be a, a basic bitch and only buy wooden stocks. Okay. Give give synthetics a give synthetics a shot. That's not. And dad always advice. get training. That's, that's advice. dad advice, and that's that's that is definitely that's uh, zoomer advice. That's Ohio man advice, and you should take it to heart. Always consider the cheaper and more. Uh, Weather resistant option. Dad advice buy a 1911. That's more like it. Dad advice agreed. Buy a 1911. Thanks for watching, y'all, and uh, have a good one. Everybody.